All right, New York's vaccine rollout appears to be turning a bit of a corner here as more doses become available and the way to actually get a shot gets shorter and shorter. And this includes the establishment of additional clinics in western New York. As we hear from two on your sides, Dave McKinley tonight. Just today it was announced there will be a pop-up vaccination center tomorrow at Buffalo's Northwest Community Center. It'll be limited to residents of the 14207 zip code in the city's Black Rock and Riverside neighborhoods, and they have just 500 doses. But because this all came about so fast, it left the Common Council member who pushed for the clinic scrambling to find people to get the vaccine anywhere he could. I had a working lunch today, and I was able to get... Uh, Four people signed up during my lunch uh, meeting at a local establishment in uh, Black Rock. Meanwhile, the latest of the state's mass vaccination sites locally will open at the Conference Center in downtown Niagara Falls tomorrow, which is expected to administer more than a thousand doses a day to those who meet the current eligibility criteria. With vaccines becoming more available through pharmacies and grocery stores as well, the frustrations felt by many just a month ago who made appointments only to find out they wouldn't be able to get the shot for several weeks has eased considerably. In fact, depending on how far you'd like to travel, in some cases you can now arrange to get one in a day or two. The governor made mention of this at a news conference where he took no questions, but announced he'd just gotten the jab with a single dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And we're going to have more Johnson & Johnson coming because that's going to be the highest production level and they're the easiest to administer. It is night and day between doing one dose and then doing two doses and having to schedule a person to come back and coordinate. Uh, speaking of which, some have asked us if, say, you travel to Syracuse to get your first dose, could you then arrange to get a second one closer to home if you found an appointment available? The state says, no, they don't want you doing that because the doses are pre-ordered and shipped accordingly, and they fear that'll end up in wasted doses. So for now, at least, no switching. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.